Five things for the win in Canada. Jesse Johnson's charges were dropped. He had a pizza restaurant in Canada and he never compromised. Yeah, it would appear that uh, it was not me that broke the law, but uh, the law itself broke the law. The term green slush fund is becoming part of Canadian vocabulary thanks to persistent exposing of these scams by conservative MPs. I'm with his billion dollar green slush fund and his their green slush fund, a billion dollar fund that dollars to a billion dollar green slush fund. Has also, the term ghost contract is getting traction. Liberal insiders, officials and members behave like the law doesn't apply to them. They mislead committee, they threaten coal workers and funnel taxpayer money through ghost contractors and even through their own companies. Straws may be back. People in town council meetings across Canada are bringing their A-game. But no letters will be distributed to the residents. Well, we never do that uh, to begin with for a PPC moi. So that's... Oh, yes, it's been done. Well, I have... This, uh, this booklet you will be receiving, you councillors and, and, and you, um, Doug, it will explain how these non-government city municipalities took over our city hall. And the harvest season is almost over. Thank goodness for our bountiful harvest in Canada, for the food we eat. Have a great week, Canada.